not a pry to open, not a break your fingernail to open, not a ruin your manicure to open key ring. Eric von Schuster of Sweden actually invented this, knew that there was a better way. So this is what we do Monday through Friday. We tell the story of one new product each and every day. We launch it. On Saturdays, we do a collection of previously launched products. So maybe a Father's Day collection or a Fun in the Sun. We added one on Sunday, and it's been very successful. That one is a newsletter style. So it covers what we've done during the week, but it also has um, the opportunity for really a disparate type of messaging. You can talk about what's going on on Facebook. You can show a Pinterest board. You can talk about your referral program. It's just very flexible. It also happens to be where I do the majority of my testing. The program is why it's a small business plan. About to hit the stage in like 10 minutes, so the uh, room's filling up right now. Pretty big space. Honestly, I've never spoken in a, in a room this big, so a little nervous. All right, so I just finished, and uh, I thought it was a pretty good session. I was super nervous up there. I hadn't spoken in front of a, a room of people that big before, so my, sh my shirt is like literally soaking wet. But. Hello, Carlos Gill TV. Welcome to IRC 2014. Brought to you by Chicago. That's, all, That's the lovely Molly Garza of Live Intent. You like my speaker? <laughs> you know, if it doesn't work for you in sales and digital marketing, you could be like a hostess I would love on TV. To you could. I'm like a, I'm a real live host in real life, too. Real talk. Real talk. What do you think out there? So I have a project with the K-Tweet Saturday in New York. It does look like a giant screen. I think that's the point. Yeah, this isn't touch film. This is not IR bezel, so it's not really like super high fidelity. And also wasn't set up properly just between us. Yeah. So this is unfortunately not working. The Yeah, sorry about that. This is unfortunately not working. So how's connected glass work? It depends what the application is. So we've done a couple. We actually can't film the explanation of it. Sorry. I'll be back. <laughs> Do it. Come on, ma make a sales call from the cab. Do it, holler at him. I just realized it'd be super creepy. So that's a community manager finish line. <laughs> and Nick wants to sell him business. So. Across the street. Send him an email. So that's, gang that's pretty gangster. Send him an email. Whoa! Watch it there. Tiger. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna holler around across the street. You kinda did, way dude. Too, way too creepy though. You kinda did. You said, Evan! <laughs> in the cab! <laughs> and you got like eight people to like look at you. Well, maybe he'll check his email. You got like eight people looking at you, wondering who is this guy screaming from a cab. Sometimes it's a good idea. You never know what you're gonna hear coming out of a cab. Might be the next big thing. This isn't even a cab. This is a Volkswagen Uber vehicle. <laughs> so that, that looks even creepier. Just like a random dude coming out of a conference screaming. Hey! Well, hustle. Every day That's I'm hustling. Doing. That's real talk. It is. Those are words of an entrepreneur of a startup. That's what you gotta do. Yes. Walking through Millennium Park on my way to dinner. Beautiful out here, downtown Chicago. With this guy. What's up? Nick Haas. <laughs> Loot app. It's my seventh feature on Carlos Gill TV. Eighth. Who's counting? All right, are you ready for dinner? Let's do it. Ready to grab some bites to eat. This is a beautiful skyline, man. So this guy wants to get into a, the Yelp party just as bad as I do. He's trying to dance his way in. Nice shirt. Thank you. It's a good, it's a good look, the checkers. I agree. I'd say so myself. This is a pretty swanky party here, put on by the rival. This is like a party like a lot.
Good morning. Last day in Chicago. And I'm out here at the uh, Hilton getting ready to check out. But before I do, I want to share with everyone the amazing swag that I picked up at IRCE 2014. But wait, there's more. Bam. 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 More shirts, which is good, because I'm running low on t-shirts. All right, so let's start off here with uh, upon check-in, they gave everyone this nice nifty bag, courtesy of NetSuite. I walked around and picked up this Offer Pop water bottle, which will come in handy for the gym. Uh, it looks like a Nerf football from a company called Domo. A squishy ball from Cardinal Co Commerce. A octopus, it looks like, from Xcart. Another squishy ball from Lyris. This is one of my favorites here, MasterCard. Hooking it up with a very nice coffee mug. Thank you. Another squishy ball or squishy shopping cart from Upic. Hand sanitizer, this always comes in handy from Flucent. We have a blue acorn koozie, an iPhone charger from a DMI fulfillment, bottle opener from Flucent, a pen from Lyris. So this right here, this is pretty genius. This is MasterCard keeping IRCE event goers prepared and sanitary with this uh, emergency travel kit or conference kit, if you will. It's got emergency in it, it has some breath mints, uh, some tissues, so good stuff. And um, some magazines here. I got this $50 Amex gift card yesterday uh, from FedEx for winning the hashtag FedEx selfie contest. And here are the t-shirts. So if I was in need of t-shirts before, IRCE 2014 has me covered. This is a keep calm and email on t-shirt. Um, not sure of oh, the vendors right here. It's uh, emaildirect.com, uh, Coinbase, Bitcoin t-shirt, pretty cool. This is a t-shirt here from Verizon, which Verizon threw an amazing party last night, so thank you for the invite. It's got a Metrix t-shirt, nice colors from Kiss Metrics. And here's one of my favorites. This one says, hi, I'm from the future. And true story, one of the vendors this was after one of the dinners. One of the vendors that works for Cell Points actually took the shirt off his back and gave it to me. Uh, let's see what else is in here. We have a ghostery squishy ball and then some amazing socks from Stance that were at the needle. It bus. And then this is me today. This is a shirt that I'm wearing. It's from Adlucent and it says, I shop between the sheets. Bam. Amazing swag at IRCE 2014. Now you don't have an excuse. Yeah. I feel so happy for you, Nick. Uh, this is definitely I, one of the higher points in my life. I know this is one of the biggest accomplishments <laughs> in really your entire life. It's going on my resume. Winning the hashtag FedEx <laughs> selfie contest. Thank you. At IRCE. After the second time. After the second time. It gives a big smile. Yeah. Alright, so you've got it. What's that? Second, a second try. Okay. Here you go. And I'm Signing your life away. That's all right. Hours. That's all right. I like FedEx. I spent so much money with FedEx back when I was in medical. I'm pretty sure you guys. Medical sale. energetic. So we're sitting in this session right here. It's about to start, and they're playing elevator music, Cheesecake Factory style. I think for this time of the day. So they're about to announce the winner of this brand new Mercedes. They are. Oh, they did? Yeah, yeah. What was it? It was like Connie something. Who? Connie something. Connie something? Yeah. Was she here? No. So she's not eligible to win? No, you don't have to be here, though. Oh. Thank you. We try it. We try it. We try it. We try it.
Congratulations, Connie. You've won yourself a new car. See you, buddy. <laughs> Look who it is. Hi. How are you? How are you today? <laughs> um, this is gonna be a sneaky transaction. I'm just kind of sitting over. <laughs> Swanky shoes there, Phil. Those are pretty dapper. Mm. Can't cross. <laughs> this is an amazing trade show floor. This is FMI. So this is what a grocery trade show looks like. The smell of pizza in the air. Hi, how are you, sir? This is amazing. This is like being inside a big grocery store, isn't it? Yeah, the smell of pizza, you have cupcakes, freshly baked hot bread. What's that? <laughs> this is why I need a corporate jet. Why's that? Because there's no reason to wait to fly. Homeboy here just missed his flight back to Florida, so. Delta wouldn't change me. Delta, shame, shame on you. That's why you need to fly Southwest. Yeah, their flight back's cheaper. Yeah, cheaper I can, and... One, I can get a one-way flight for cheaper than it would be to change it enough. Exactly. <laughs> Real talk. That's a plug for you, and Southwest. I'm an elite member there, too. That's the worst part. It's not like I'm a joke. Shame on you, Delta. Piss off a millennial consumer, and you've lost a customer for life. And not just a customer, but you've also lost multiple customers. Because millennials are highly engaged, and we have friends in social media, and we all talk. So that's real talk. Just what are you trying to do there, Nick? Looks like you're struggling. Dying. So they've already started to break down this whole convention floor. Nick's uh, here trying to buy a plane ticket on Southwest Airlines. Yep, trying. You know how I book my tickets through Southwest? I do it through direct message on Twitter. <laughs> I've got good like that. You're doing it the old school way. I am. So kudos to Southwest and uh, Southwest Verity for always taking good care of me. You guys know what good customer service and taking care of your loyal customers is all about.